Today we will learn about micrometer. It is a measuring tool and it is used for measuring diameter or thickness of any job. And it is more precise than vernier caliper. Now we discuss about the main parts of micrometer. It consists of a hook type frame. This is the hook type frame and hard anvil is screwed on one end this is the anvil that is screwed on one end and on the second end a spindle moves to and fro carrying another small anvil on its end this is the small anvil on its end and this is the spindle that is moves back forward and backward the sleeve on the spindle this is the sleeve on the spindle and it is graduated with divisions and this is called main scale the vernier scale is provided on the thimble this is the sleeve and it has main scale and next part is the thimble this is thimble and it can rotate when we rotate it then spindle moves forward and backward so on spindle thimble we have a division which are graduated on it and these are total 50 division from 0 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 and 0 so here total divisions on vernier scale are 50 so this is the thimble and ratchet is also provided on its side this is the ratchet and with the help of ratchet fine pressure can be applied and here is the lock nut this is the lock nut and it is used to fix the desired position it move here and there when it is moved towards here so position is fixed and when it is moved here then spindle is freely to rotate so how to calculate the least count of micrometer so one complete revolution of thimble if we start to rotate from zero and again comes to zero so this is the complete revolution of a thimble so with one complete revolution so we cover 0.5 mm on the main scale 0.5 mm pitch covered by the complete revolution on thimble so to calculate the least count then pitch is divided by number of division on vernier scale so pitch is 0.5 in one complete revolution that is divided by total 50 division on vernier caliper so this is vernier scale sorry so this is 0 0.01 so this 0 0.01 is the least count of micro meter so again i repeat the main parts of uh, micrometer this is the frame anvil spindle lock nut sleeve with main scale this thimble with vernier scale and this is ratchet stop so here are some precautions we need to follow the micrometer should be cleaned properly so that spindle should move freely the micrometers are available in various sizes and ranges so micrometers should be chosen according to the requirement and error in readings may occur due to lack of flatness of anvil lack of parallelism of the anvils as part of the scale or throughout so in accurate setting of zero reading etc so various tests to ensure these conditions should be carried out from time to time. 
सो सब्सक्राइब टू गेट मोर अपडेट्स एंड मोर वीडियो ऑन मैकेनिकल टॉपिक्स एंड यूनिवर्स डबल टू यू मे लाइक शेयर कॉमेंट एंड गिव यूर सजेशन इफ रिक्वायर्ड थैंक यू हैव ए नाइस डे